Hey guys, this is an Epson inkjet printer with uh, two trays. And the question that we had on one of the videos is that it is easy to get to the bottom of this one to clean the pickup roller um, by just pulling out the tray. And then when you flip the printer on its side, the roller is gonna be there just like that. So when you remove the tray, put the printer uh, on its side or y you can have access to the roller from here and clean this pickup roller in order to continue printing but uh, tray number two is at the bottom and that's the tray that's used usually when the tray one is has run out of paper or if you are using a different paper size for tray two it is also easy to get to tray one if you only have one so if the second tray wasn't there you would be able to pull the tray the only tra drawer tray that you have Pull it out and you would have the same access from the bottom so what do we do if um, we need to clean the paper pickup roller from the main tray and when we have two trays those models would be uh, such as this one would be 3530 WF um, or also workforce 3640 um, series <clears throat> so your printer is telling you that there isn't any paper you are assuming that the roller needs to be cleaned because you do have paper in there so you pull the tray out and this the pickup roller is going to be at the very back um, of this open space right here so you can see the roller is at the very back of this area where the drawer goes um, so good news on this printer model it's also not that hard you do not need to get in here and um, you can put your hand in there and reach the tr uh, the rollers just like this but you really don't need to so you can clean either this way or you can turn the uh, printer around so we're gonna flip the printer around so I can show you there's a duplex unit over here you just press these in and pull the uh, duplex unit out when it goes in make sure you put it in properly these are going to be in um, if this is popped up you wouldn't be able to slide it in there so make sure this is closed and this is how it goes back in there but since we have that removed we can see that there's plenty of paper dust accumulated on here and so is some on this roller right here this is the roller that we need to clean it's much easier to get in get to it from this side you can also see that the bottom or tray number two roller is right here, but definitely it's easier to get to from the bottom of the printer. So we're concentrating on this roller right here. This is the one you can see that it, it kind of goes down when you send a, a print job, it goes down into the tray. I'm just going to slide the paper tray in so you can see. So this is what it looks like when the, when you have paper loaded in the tray one, um, and this is the roller that is going to pick up your print uh, paper and push it so it uh, feeds it into the printer. But best, of course, is to remove the tray, um, remove the paper so it doesn't get any, any moisture on it. And uh, we're going to clean those rollers. Like I show in the other videos, I do use alcohol swabs for that sometimes. And uh, today we're just going to use some paper towels I recommend paper towels versus napkins because they don't break away pieces as easy so just some paper towel we're going to spray some window cleaning solution any cleaner would really work this is just Windex type cleaner um, be careful not to damage any parts in here you got to be really careful with this um, so what you're going to do is just slide it in here and just clean it that way. Okay, so we are going to just hold um, one uh, roll, one wheel and then hold the paper towel over the other and we're just going to spin it. I'm spinning the right wheel and holding the paper towel over the left one. Now I'm going to switch that. Let me see what we have cleaned up. Okay, these are not that bad, but um, 
if your printer is not picking up paper, you would see some um, dirt accumulated on here. So same here. I'm holding some paper over, paper towels over the roller and spinning the other one. There we go. A few spins and um, that should clean up the rollers. Let it dry for a few minutes. While you're here, here uh, I'll show you the paper dust difference. I'm gonna wipe some over here. It's just on plastic. Um, you can see how much it accumulates over time. It really isn't seen, but this must be a few thousand pages printed and run through here. And you would assume that it's little particles are gonna fly off the paper. So um, while you're here, you can just clean that up. Maybe put some air in here and see how that does work. But really does the job and um, something that you could also try as well. Um, so that's how you clean the back roller. Also, if you're having issues with paper being picked up, but it's, it's being fed into here and then it stops and jams. Since you have this out, you would also, um, you can also look in here. There's lots of paper dust in here. So you can clean that out. Ooh, that's a lot. But you can also do the same thing for this roller and clean that up. All right, so same thing. I'm just gonna spin the wheel and clean up. Of any paper dust. This one seems to have a lot, so. Um, this printer actually had a paper jam in this area, so you can see that it's leaving some residue on here. So it's not even the ink problem that's giving, like accumulated ink or so. Um, see that's something that you, you shouldn't rub the paper towel too much so it doesn't break away. Just gently and clean it up like so. So like I was saying, it was it's not really that much of a ink problem, you know, accumulated ink waste. Um, but a lot of times it's just paper. Most of the times, of course, it's going to be combined paper and uh, ink. But that should that should resolve our paper jam issue in the duplex area. And what we did before would take care of your problem with. Uh, with the paper pickup all right so just make sure you put it in these are going to be up top goes in like this here gears are going to be on the right on this side side towards the power supply is if you're looking at the back of the printer and it just slides in and that's how it goes back in so now we're just gonna make sure that it starts pick up picking up the paper again um, another thing you want to make sure is um, that this is set to proper paper size, so it's that letter, so make sure it's that letter. It will still pick up the paper, but that gives a problem for the printer. Um, so, here we go. So it catches the paper. <clears throat> picks up the paper right away and our goal has been achieved uh, thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to like share subscribe comment i'd be happy to answer questions whatever i know i can help with the printer um, so and have yourself a wonderful day thanks